Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Today, we're tackling a common VirtualBox issue. It's the VirtualBox kernel service is not running error. This pop-up can be annoying. It prevents shared folders and other features from working. Let's get this fixed. First, we'll look at the common causes. Then, we'll dive into solutions. The most frequent culprit is a failed VirtualBox installation or update. Sometimes, the necessary kernel modules didn't build correctly. User account control settings can also interfere. Security software might block the service. Let's start with the simplest fixes. First, try restarting your virtual machine. This often resolves temporary glitches. Next, try restarting your host computer. A fresh start can clear up conflicting processes. If that doesn't work, we move on to reinstalling VirtualBox. Completely uninstall VirtualBox. Download the latest version from the official website. During installation, be sure to run the installer as administrator. Right-click the installer file. Choose Run as Administrator. This ensures the installer has sufficient permissions. Now, let's explore rebuilding the kernel modules. Open your terminal or command prompt as administrator. Use the command boxconfig. This command recompiles the VirtualBox kernel modules. This is especially helpful after a kernel update. If you are on a Linux host, update your system first with sudo apt update and in sudo apt upgrade and then run the boxconfig command. Check your system's security software. It may be blocking the VirtualBox service. Temporarily disable your antivirus or firewall. See if the error disappears. If it does, add VirtualBox to the exception list. Remember to re-enable your security software afterwards. Another cause may be enabled Secure Boot. Disable Secure Boot in your BIOS settings. This is often found in the boot menu. Accessing the BIOS varies by manufacturer. Consult your motherboard's manual. If using shared folders, verify the shared folder settings. Make sure the folder exists on your host machine. The path is correctly configured in VirtualBox. Also, make sure the auto mount option is enabled for that shared folder. Another possible issue is corrupted VirtualBox configuration files. Delete the VirtualBox configuration files located in your user directory. This forces VirtualBox to create new configurations. Be careful, as this will reset some VirtualBox settings. Finally, check the VirtualBox logs. These logs often contain valuable clues about the error. The logs are usually located in the VirtualBox installation directory or in the Virtual Machines folder. Review these logs for error messages. Search online for those specific error messages. The VirtualBox community can provide solutions. I hope this video helped you fix the VirtualBox kernel services not running error. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting the channel through Patreon. Every little bit helps us create more content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.